All babies look the same. Well, pretty much anyway. Imagine 20 years ago walking into a maternity hospital ward and you see four little babies lying there side by side. They all have the same starting point, yet 20 years on, their lives are fundamentally different. The first baby is successfully traversing college life, captaining clubs and societies, while the second baby has struggled with depression and anxiety for years and does well just to get up in the morning. The third baby is climbing a career ladder and is the centre of attention at all the parties, while the fourth baby is now struggling to get a foothold in life at all and finds himself sleeping under archways on Grafton Street. While we may start in the same place, the adversities of life often drive us in different directions. However, our team truly believes in the potential of people. We're inspired by people like Lou Holtz, a renowned coach, who once said, Show me someone who has done something worthwhile, and I'll show you someone who has overcome adversity. This year, our projects empower those who, to overcome adversity, to overcome their difficulties, and to live a more fulfilling life. We believe in the power of technology to have great impact widely. And such, we have developed two platforms, Keep Appy and Homeless Helpline, both targeting mental well-being and homelessness. So what do you think of when I say the phrase mental health? You probably ha associate words like loneliness, anxiety, depression. Really what you're considering is mental adversity. Well, our aim is ultimately to be able to view mental well-being through the same lens that we view physical well-being. That is, to approach it in a proactive, positive manner where people take actionable steps to keep themselves well. It was on this premise that Keep Appy was founded. Keep Appy is a mental wellness and journaling app that seeks to change the conversation around mental health. We conducted an intensive needs assessment of 71 individuals and this inspired the development of all the features of the app. We will now show you a brief demo video of how the app works. Welcome to Keep Appy, the mental wellbeing app. After installing, you can register an account and then log in using those account details. You will then be given the option to input measurements for your mental vitals. The variables that we have chosen to include are based on in-depth conversations and advice from mental health professionals, including those focusing on positive mental well-being. It can be hard to retrospectively determine the correlation between variables. For instance, the impact of water consumption on productivity. However, with Keep Happy, you can select the variables that you want to compare and make informed decisions on changes you need to make to your daily routine. For instance, you might find that drinking more water improves your productivity or eating a more balanced diet improves your mood. With Keep Happy, we help you make decisions to improve your mental well-being. It has been proven that writing down your goals improves your chances of achieving them. So, for this reason, you are able to include your goals within the app and you will also be able to see the goals that you have achieved. We understand that sometimes you will need someone to talk to. So, within the menu bar on the left, there are a couple of links to services that support many people going through mental health difficulties. If you find yourself struggling, we do encourage you to use those services. On the home page, you will find some helpful resources, including an article of the day featuring some tips on promoting well-being. As part of the Keep Happy 5-Day Challenge, we are encouraging people to try out daily journaling. We'll be providing you with prompts each day to guide you in getting the most out of the Keep Happy experience. For instance, the first day's prompt challenges you to answer the question, what makes you unique? Since older entries are saved, you can look back for inspiration from your past experiences. Finally, from all of us, good luck with the challenge and we hope you enjoy using Keep Happy. A great solution is only as good as its execution. And for that reason, we have taken great steps to ensure sustainability for Keep Happy in the future. We have partnered with TCD Student Union and TCD Student Counseling Service, who have both agreed to support us in the open launch of the app now that the beta launch has been completed. So we plan on rolling out this app in the open launch 
to iOS and Android users in the coming academic year. With such strong partnerships and very positive feedback on the app thus far, we expect a, strong, uh, expect a large uptake of this app. Following successful feedback and further app development, the ultimate goal is to license the app to other universities or corporations, thereby furthering sustainability. While undertaking a technology-based product project is incredibly time intensive to develop initially, the development stage is now complete and so it puts our team in an excellent position going forward. We can now redirect our attention and energies towards marketing the app and building our user base. And so it's a very sustainable and scalable project. At the moment, at the moment we have the potential to dramatically and exponentially increase our user base and thus the impacts that we have. But what impacts have we had to date? Well, following successful development of the app this year, we conducted testing. We selected 25 students at random and ran testing project that began with a preliminary uh, pre-survey. We then exposed these people to the app for a period of five days and following that period, we conducted a post-survey to ascertain how their beliefs and opinions about journaling and mental health had changed over the days. The pre-survey was carried out to understand their opinions prior to using the app about journaling and their experiences of mental health to date. We discovered, based on our, our survey, that 70% of those tested had experienced mental health difficulties in the past. Of that number, 39% of them had previously attempted journaling, with 25% intending to but never getting around to it. Of those who hadn't journaled before, the reasons listed were a lack of time, but most importantly, that they were afraid somebody else would read their journal entry. These are all tackled with Keep Appy. The testing, involved, the testing stage involved sharing a how-to video, which you have just watched, coupled with another video of one student sharing his experiences of journaling as well as using the app. The final piece of the puzzle was that we sent a daily prompt to encourage people to, uh, to, on their journal entry. Following, following this period of the testing uh, phase, we conducted a post survey. The aim of the post survey was to ascertain whether the beliefs around journaling and the, the variables that we tracked had changed during the five day period. We also wanted to discover whether the educational material provided within the, within the app and the daily motivational quotes had had a positive effect on behavior and mood. Our results demonstrated a positive change for our users. On a five-point scale, where three is neutral, we found that users rated a change of their mental vitals across all variables, uh, on average of 3.59. Uh, this value is small, but significant. The average journal time was three minutes less than users had initially thought. Um, people really enjoyed this section of the app as well. It was very well acclaimed. Most agreed to the positive benefits of journaling. These benefits included planning your day, tracking achievements, clearing your head, and just having a record of your life available. Amongst those who had never journaled before, we found that 50% of them actually changed their routine as a result of using the five-day trial with Keep Happy. For those who had journaled before, the prompts proved useful. Uh, it empowered them. We received such quotes such as that it acted as a reminder or that it was thought-provoking. One person told us, it was like a friend telling me to cop on. It helped. So I have been at Keep Appy for the last few days, and I think what's been done really well is that you're not just tracking mood and stress levels, but you're also taking into account physical indicators such as you know diet, exercise, sleep. And I think all too often, you know, people tend to separate the two sides when they actually contribute to the overall well-being experience. We are incredibly excited that users have found that only a couple of minutes each day can have a dramatic impact on their self-awareness, their level of clarity, that we can provide them a private place to keep their thoughts, but most importantly that users found that this app had the potential to have a positive impact on their mood. In the same way that physical health and well-being is perceived in a positive, proactive manner, we believe that mental health and well-being can and should be perceived through the same guise, and we are incredibly excited and proud 
that we have a service that can do just that in an incredibly sustainable and rapidly scalable way. Homeless Helpline is a web app accessible to any internet connected device which enables homeless people and people at risk of homelessness to find information on vital services in a simple and sustainable manner. We are Homeless Helpline and this is our story. Every morning when we walk to college, we see so, so many people sleeping rough. And it is hard for us not to forget that these are people just like us with the same dreams and the same hopes and the same aspirations, but circumstance and luck has ordained that I am the one with the safe and secure house with the warm bed, whereas they must survive every night on the streets of Dublin. 140 people are sleeping rough on the streets of Dublin right now. And 7,500 people are currently homeless in Ireland. Enactus TCD finds this unacceptable. We vow to create a project which can create innovative solutions to empower homeless people in the face of such adversity. We created Homeless Helpline. To start off, we partnered with three homeless, homeless organizations, Crosscare, Dublin Christian Mission, and Focus Ireland Temple Bar. And through their extensive outreach, we sat down and interviewed 100, people for, 100 homeless people for our needs assessment. In return, we are incredibly lucky and got 100 unique emotional testimonials on life as a homeless person in Dublin. Individuals such as Tony, an elderly homeless man who'd been homeless most of his life because when he was a young adult like us, he was forced out of his home due to addiction and domestic violence. He has never had the luxury of truly calling a place home. And virtually every person we surveyed was homeless as a result of some horrific trauma, be it sexual abuse, addiction, or violence, and so on. However, our needs assessment also proved extremely informative. We found that 68% of homeless people in Dublin rely on each other for information on services. This is inherently problematic as information passed from person to person can change, it can go out of date and so on, but this represented an opportunity for Enactus TCD and Homeless Helpline to create a personalized and detailed database of every single homeless service in Dublin. Furthermore, we also found surprising levels of technological literacy, where we found that 85% of those we interviewed owned phones, of which 53% owned internet accessible smartphones. Furthermore, 60% accessed the internet regularly. Our needs assessment is clear. The combination of the reliance of each other for information and the inherent problems with that, and the technological literacy of homeless people in Dublin create an opportunity for Enactus TCD to use a sustainable business model and sound economic practice to create innovative solutions to empower homeless people in the face of shocking adversity. We created Homeless Helpline. In doing so, we fundamentally redesigned how homeless people access information. Beforehand, there was no easy resource for them. If you wound up and found yourself homeless one day, as many do, you would not know where to start, but here we can help you. We can help you find information on services and we can present it in such a way which dramatically improves the accessibility of these services. Our model is simple yet effective. We are currently finalizing installation of computer tablets and homeless services around Dublin. These tablets will be preloaded with the homeless helpline, homeless helpline platform. This platform will greatly improve homeless individuals, volunteers, and homeless service providers' knowledge of homeless services in Dublin. In return, we have, uh, we have agreed a monthly fee of 10 euro that will be paid by the homeless services and will fund the ongoing uh, running of Homeless Helpline as well as, it, as well as its expansion across Dublin and for, further afield throughout Ireland. Homeless individuals at the heart of Homeless Helpline whose harrowing experiences define our project, have been greatly empowered by the service. We are extremely proud to state that to date we have 30 direct impacts of homeless individuals who now have been able to find new services where they can access food securely seven days a week. One of the major problems we identified was food insecurity in our needs assessment. And through Homeless Helpline, we have helped overcome this adversity. As it is a technology project, there is, a, there is only a small additional cost to expanding the service uh, beyond Dublin. And therefore, we see uh, Homeless Helpline expanding throughout Ireland and impacting all homeless people in a real and human manner. 
we have not only identified a genuine need, but we have also empowered one of the most marginalized groups in Ireland and developed an entirely sustainable platform. The, uh, the leasing agreements that we have uh, established with the homeless service uh, providers ensure that old tablets are replaced and new tablets purchased. This ensures financial sustainability. In addition, our developers are currently working on new software that will allow uh, our database to be uploaded, autom uh, updated automatically with new information as published by the government on homeless services. We are extremely proud of what we've achieved. We have improved the standard, living, standard of living of one of the most marginalized groups in society, and we have achieved better access to information that was uh, previously not accessible, e not accessible easily. This year with Enactus TCD, we have focused on empowering people to overcome adversity. In creating Keep Appy and Homeless Helpline, we have tackled adversity in mental health and homelessness. We have created two projects that are sustainable, scalable, and impactful. As Winston Churchill once said, if you are going through hell, keep going. And we take comfort in knowing that we set out to help people going through hell to see light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, uh, two very quick questions, if I may. I'll cheat this time, Katrina. Um, how do you ensure the content on uh, the site for the homeless information is kept up to date? I know you referenced the um, department, but uh, the other information on the site, how do you ensure it's kept up to date? And the second question, again, is um, are you looking at an ongoing needs assessment? Because clearly the needs of homeless individuals will change over time as well. Um, with regards to the first question, the way our information scraper works is that we put in sites to it and it scrapes information from that and puts it in our database. So we just add sites to that and the more it takes from. This is varying sources and often we manually input information ourselves, as was, but we've kind of reached a critical mass where at this point it's only going to be a few services every so often, like given government inaction on the issue, information sustainability shouldn't be that big an issue for us given our web scraper and our own extensive research. With regards to your second question, absolutely, we will. We remain. We have very good communication with Dublin Christie Mission, Focus Ireland, and Crosscare, as they're very interesting in our service, and we're always, always looking forward to their constructive criticism and feedback. Like our last session with them was Tuesday, and we plan on having one very soon. Well done, guys. Um, just a quick question. How do you plan on sustaining it into the future? And what would be your links with like, the, homeless the homeless service in Dublin, other than those three, if any? Outside of those three? Yeah, just how are you going to sustain it into the future and link to the homeless um, advisory service in Dublin? Um, we plan on... Well, our main goal is just work with anyone and everyone we can. With regards to sustainability, I've... We obviously we maintain, we maintain very good information sustainability as well as expansion. We currently have approximately 200 euro or so in revenue from Blackstone Launchpad by virtue of the competition there. So we can expand with that. At the moment, we have three tablets already looking to be installed in various places. We want to work with everyone in the homeless business because our bottom lines are the same to improve the lives of the people sleeping out on the streets. So we would absolutely love to work with like, the central placement service, except we, we're trying to get in touch with them at the moment and they're difficult to talk to. <laughs> um, just in relation to uh, Keep Appy, um, when you first developed it, was it developed in conjunction with uh, mental health professionals or by yourselves? So when you did the initial development of, of the app? Yeah, so from the beginning, uh, it's a very sensitive topic, obviously. So we one of our initial things that we did was to speak to the head of psych adolescent psychiatry in St. John of God's. We also had a lot of meetings and consultations with the TCD student counselling service and the college um, GP as well was, uh, was con contacted before we developed anything. All the questions and the, the variables that we track were guided by, by those professionals as well as based on the needs assessment that we carried out and what what students and people tested wanted. 
Can you please just clarify for me, for, with regard to the Keep Appy project, what the business model is? And assuming there are revenues somewhere, which I haven't seen, just tell me what you plan to do with those, please. Absolutely. So we've got proof of concept at the moment. So uh, we partnered with TCD uh, Students Union and Counselling Service to launch it to the students of Trinity next year. And that will further compound our proof of concept and make the app available to over 16,000 students. That then will allow us to uh, uh, license the app out to other universities um, in Ireland and abroad. But coupling to that, we will develop a version of the app that is slightly tweaked that will be targeted at corporate entities because we recognize and several corporate bodies that we've spoken to have told us that there's a lot of valuable information that our data sets collect that would be very useful for them. And we know that the, the well-being and mindfulness sort of movement is, is something that's sweeping all, all, all across the world at the moment. And this is something that a lot, a lot of corporate bodies are buying into as well in terms of the workplace and uh, the environment that they create. So those are the two rev revenue streams, licensing to colleges and corporate bodies. Thanks very much. Just on the same revenue uh, uh, type question, so imagining that that is hugely successful in corporates, where do you expect the earnings to go to from the app? Thank you very much.